All right, we're gonna go over a submission from each level or set up the submissions from the levels according to what we just did from the punch defense. The first submission we're gonna go over is a strangle using the cloth. So we're gonna go over what's called a cross choke. Okay, so we use the lapels here to help. What I'm trying to do is get my wrists right into the carotid, which is right next to the windpipe on either side. This is what's going to cause the strangle. So I'm gonna do the first one with two hands, palms up. So one hand goes in. I wanna make sure that I'm going quite deep with this to take some of the slack out of the lapel. The second hand will come underneath. I will turn my palms up and then I'm going to bring him to me or bring myself to him. I wanna keep a nice proud chest and I'm turning my wrists, palm up and using that pressure to push my wrist into his neck. One, two, rotate palm up, bring myself to him if he's structured, and then bring the wrists in, like I'm pulling in to close the gap and tighten the lapel around his neck. Now, from level one punch defense, we're gonna set this up a little bit by making sure I keep his head under control first. I'm gonna slide one hand into the lapel, so I slide my hand in, palm up position, keeping the head down. Now I'm gonna lift his head up, and I'm gonna sink the second hand in. And I'm gonna bring that hand in nice and close. And then now, same thing, finish the choke, okay? You can do that either way, with, starting with either hand, but you wanna maintain head control in case he starts to posture up. Now, this is also from a position where he's trying to keep me down. He's trying to hold me down from this position. So he's not posturing up. This is a great time to start attacking that choke too. I'm gonna get on my side a little bit. I'm gonna sneak that hand in underneath his chin, grabbing the lapel. Then my second hand comes underneath, grabs the other side, and then I can squeeze and finish the choke. Okay. Second setup for this one is I do the same thing. I'm gonna bring my hand, I'm gonna hold that headline in position, lapel comes in, and then I'm just gonna grab thumb in the lapel on the top here so my hands are close together. Now, when he goes to posture up, I'm gonna let it. As he postures up, I've got two hands in, but this time with one palm down, one palm up. And then now I can squeeze and finish the choke and make him go unconscious from there.